damage incorporated. Well, we already paused it now. Damage. All right, checking out the Metallica song, Damage Inc. Let's get into it. Interesting. Yeah, you look a little confused. Uh, I wonder if we can find a lyric video. Yeah, we need a lyric video. A lyric remaster. Yes. Whoa. Okay, what you got? This is so, so. I mean, it was just like, okay, so I just realized their album art is like a field of like military graves. Right. And then there's like a helmet and like mm -hmm. the master of puppets kind of pulling the strings of the graves. Um, this just gave me very interesting, like, I mean, whoa, I, I don't even know what the, I need to just, I don't even know. So, how do you like the, the music, though? It tells a story in itself. Well, that's just, like, that's like the album cover, even, right? No, no, the music, like the sounds, oh. the way it's played is like. Oh, I get what you're saying. It's like, like it literally took me to the field, like it took me somewhere, and then it dropped me there, and then oh. it like ramped up, and then it started going like, you know what I mean? And so it's like I need to listen to more of the song to know what right, is going what on. What that was. But what? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Huh? yeah. This, this is Interesting. fast. This is fast. Hold on, that started dealing out the agony within. That's, yeah. So taking your agony from within and dishing it out to other people? Yeah, something like that. Oh, my goodness, this is fast. Living on your knees, conformity, or dying on your feet for honesty. Yeah. Ooh. 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 That's this, it. This song is probably timeless. That's it. I feel like we're dealing with that same thing modern day. And like maybe they're talking about No, they're not I don't think they're talking about actually dying. You know, I think it's metaphorical. I think it applies to modern day as well. Like what cancel culture and all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I wonder what it was back then though. 
Like, what was the dying on your feet for honesty back when they made the song? Right, right. That's what I'm curious about. But also is, as we get older, will we learn that those things are just timeless? Like, right. every generation is just like, kind of like that. There will always be a mainstream, there will always be a narrative, and then if you buck it... There, then it'll be counterculture. And, yeah. But then bucking the, the narrative, it might not always be for honesty. Depending on what the narrative is at the time. True. You know what I mean? Yeah. Let's say if, like, common sense took over, then if you're bucking that, yeah, you're bucking the whole thing, but it doesn't mean right. it's for honesty. True. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. It's a good question. But I bet something like that. The government's always doing something sketchy, so <laughs> you always have an opportunity right. to stand up for honesty and right. die. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Bankers I don't know the most resources. about wars, but uh, someone posted in the comments these uh, videos from Oversimplified mm. to give us a rundown of all the wars and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, watching yeah, those. those are cool. But uh, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert, but I guess I know more now than I knew a week ago. Okay. But I don't know the most. I got to figure this one out. All right. You ready? It's going to be fast. Yeah. Okay, so what changed from the beginning to now? So now you're like really into it, but because in the beginning you were like kind of like questioning whether you should jump in or not. Yeah. You were like thinking about I was it. Like, like, oh, hold up. You know, like before you jump hold into up. double dutch, hold you know up. what I mean? You gotta get hold the, up. You know what I'm saying? Hey. Yeah. So what All changed right. from then to now? It was because, okay, so it's really fast. And I, I'm not really like, I'm not just for like loud and fast. I'm right. for like storyful, like take me somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Like tell me something I don't know. You know okay. what I'm saying? Bring me something I don't have. Okay. And I feel like it was that. And then once he really started getting to Damage Incorporated, after that very first one, you then like, it was like, like the up and down. Yeah, then it was just like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I feel like after the first Damage Incorporated, I really started to get what they're trying to convey in this song. And what is that? That is, this one I think is about war. I think this one is about like, the like war machine. chew you up and spit you out. Yeah, right. I think this one is a, a lot about just like the way the, business the government, of war. yeah, the business of war and then like damage incorporated. It's like interesting that it's like there's no specific corporation behind wars, you know, but it's like if you go all follow the money trail, that's pretty much what it is. Right. That's what I think. What do you got? I agree. I think that's what it's about. Damage Incorporated. We chew you up and spit you out. You know what I mean? It's a whole, like, war machine.
it's almost over. Yeah, it's almost over. Damage incorporated. Well, we already paused it now. Damage. Oh, damage. I like that. I like that part. Ooh. The ending or the, or the damage incorporated. incorporated? Yeah, it's just so spooky. It's so like, cause like low key, the people behind all of the like mess up society are like whispering. You know what I'm saying? It's like not loud and in your, like not the people we can play. Oh, like we don't hear them. It's like we don't hear right. them. So it's like, they're like in the background. That like artistic intuitiveness is awesome. And that electric guitar solo was so good. <laughs> I felt, I felt that was so crazy like. crazy fast. It was so fast. And it was just like amidst the other stuff that's really fast. It was just like, whoa, whoa. I don't even like this stuff. It's crazy because I bet I'm gonna listen to this like ten times, and then like I'm gonna be like, so like I'll know exactly what's coming. And but like my first time here is just like, what? <laughs> I was like, it sounded like they were playing it fast forward. I was like, what? You can really play something this fast? Right. And that was crazy. I thought like it was sped up. Like are we listening to YouTube on like one point five speed. Right. Like that was crazy. what? And then that one part, like towards the middle, it was something about like, I don't remember the words, but I remember the like the meaning, not the meaning, but you get what I'm saying. But uh, they were talking about like how you'll be in pain and this, and they'll be laughing. I feel like it's probably really like that. Yeah. Like people who call the shot to probably literally laughing and people are in pain. It's like, oh, we won that battle and took that oil field. We only lost a thousand men. Ha ha ha. You know what I mean? Right. Like, Thought it was going to take more. People are numbers. We took out 5,000 men with 1,000. Ha ha ha. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I bet some at some times they are literally laughing while people are being killed and maimed and stuff. Man, I like Metallica. Wow, what a great band. They're just, they're, they're just like, composition of a song is so, like, wholesome. You know what I mean? It's just so like, there's just like so much range. You know, I don't really know what you mean. Oh, <laughs> it's just. Probably so, should just say yes. But. It's just like I mean, I guess you know, my, like okay, if you think about modern radio hit song, right? There's gonna be a hook. Okay. There's gonna be like some kind of chorus. There's gonna be like some kind of intro and outro. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, and it gives you the overall vibe of the song. Right. But I feel like with theirs, it's like they can tell a, a movie. They can put a movie or like story into a song and it's like the intro and the outro aren't necessarily consistent and neither is the chorus or the hook but it's like it all goes together right okay you know what i mean like it's all so you're like, saying it's like full spectrum art yeah versus like cookie cutter art right okay and it's all it's almost like to me hard to believe that they went mainstream and kind of sold out and stuff because like a lot of artists that are like that that is I that heard, what people are saying they sold out well i don't know i don't, I don't know think mainstream like, always means sold out yeah i don't know how that works like i don't i don't know but mainstream, but to be mainstream, it just, to me, they still sound so, like, right. it doesn't sound like they have ghost writers, and it doesn't sound like they have, you know, some kind of crazy, like, influences, you know what I mean? Right, I mean, I just don't think mainstream always is bad. So, yeah, I'm probably joint. I'm probably grouping those things together. Like, oftentimes it is, but it's not, I feel like it's not one-to-one, -one, you know? Right. Mm -hmm. But it, it could have, I don't know, I don't know their history. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, if you had to alter your art in a certain way so people would be pleased with it so they'll play you on the radio, then some people would consider that selling out. Right. And then others wouldn't, but. Yeah. Yeah, and they have some messages that are, they seem very counterculture, like anti, you know, sort of foreign wars for the purpose of, you know what I mean? Like, I mean, they talk about, you know, drug addiction and stuff like that. So it's like very. I like Metallica's band, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks guys for watching this video. Make sure you like the video and comment below any other suggestions or your thoughts about the video. We appreciate you guys and until next time, that's a wrap. I don't know. Tell me man, what do you know? What do you know? Me and my boys on the road. You the go. She told me boy you the go. Like I don't know. But I don't